Welcome to the Houdini Hulai Challenge series. So, SideFX is holding a challenge where artists create a piece per day based on a daily topic every day for the month of July. I have decided to take on the challenge and also record and edit all of my work so that you get to see the process behind it. I'm doing this because I like a good challenge. So, let's get into it. Hello there. Today is space, but not really. Um, yesterday was space. Today is urban, but yeah. As I've explained, um, I was behind on videos, so I'm catching them all up in one session. My mouth is getting really dry now, but it's cool because I just have Urban after this and I'm really excited about Urban. Urban was cool. Sorry, I'm unplugging my um, tablet. I hope it doesn't sound like the end of the world. So in Houdini, this is what I had. So I'll be honest, I'll be the first to admit that this one was the one that messed me up. So in Men in Black, um, I haven't watched the movie, but I saw the scene where there's like the, these twins. Uh, they're professional dancers and that, and it's, it's really cool. Like the actual, the concept was really solid, but as far as I've read, the movie kind of didn't really live up to it. But they have this thing where they get shot and there's a nebula that sort of opens up inside of them and then it pulls back in. And so I thought it would be really cool to do a nebula that does that, where it expands and then pulls back in. And I think I still have it. I hope this doesn't kill everything. Right, so I had a, a pyro simulation. Um, and, oh, this one's pretty bad. but. There was a pyro simulation that I had that was really cool. I also had this. Um, this was just high viscosity fluid with some divergence. The idea was to pull the nebula towards the center, right? And I used divergence for that and it was working, but I think I messed up in firstly, not doing a high enough resolution smoke simulation. And secondly, in not giving it enough of an interesting shape. I, I didn't spend enough time on the solver basically. This was too, basic. So what I did was I took that smoke and I tried generating particles. I'm not going to open this node over here. I'm actually going to mark this red for when you guys use it. Don't touch this node. That one is, I'm going to throw it over here. That's a dangerous node. Um, it generates like 40 million particles. I might have, I might have changed it, but it was generating like 50 million particles. And those were all supposed to be stars so that this is kind of made up of star dust. And it, kind of worked, but I couldn't get it looking right. So anyways, I was like, well, this idea is down the drain. I can't, I can't show this nebula close up and I was running out of time. So what I did was did some research, um, looking for reference material. And I found this image where there's a picture of the moon. Um, it's like a drawing, an illustration, picture of the moon. And 
you can see space through it. So I thought, let me do that. Let me do an artwork where you can see space through it. So I created this little room that is like a viewing area for that nebula over there. Um, if I hide this over here, you can see there's a hole in the canvas. The camera moves towards the canvas and you see the nebula. And I like the concept. Uh, it could be very cool, say that you keep going out here and like go into space and maybe there's like a planet over here. This could be a really, really, really sick image if done properly. But I didn't do it properly. So, <laughs> you know, the concept's open for anybody who wants to take up the gauntlet. Um, I'm also very happy with the lighting inside. I, by mistake, blasted away panels but left these sort of panes and it made really interesting patterns on the ground. So I'm actually happy about that. Um, happy mistake. But yeah, it, it wasn't great. And so I'll show you the render. This was the final, final render. As you can see, it's it's lacking. Um, it's also not very good quality. I yeah, I had to I had to really hack it to get it to look somewhat decent. So I'll revisit this at some point because I would like to know how to properly make a nebula. Clearly, I'm not not getting it right. I'm missing something. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, the next one is cool. I I'm very happy with urban. So I'll go over that one. You can see what that one's all about, and I'll see you soon. Bye.